In this video, we're going to be making counterboard holes. A counterboard hole looks like this. It's a hole that has room for the, a bolt head to sit inside of it. And when we look at it from the top view, you can see that it basically has two circles. And when we look at it from the bottom, it essentially looks just like a simple hole. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create that on this part that I have already started up for us here. There's a couple steps, and the first one is we first need to create a, a new sketch. And we do that by clicking the New Sketch button right up on top here. Then we tell the program which face that we want to add the hole to. In this case, we want to add it to this face right here. Now I'm then going to get a nice clear look at my top view so I can easily work with this section of the, of the part. In order to create a, a count, any type of hole, we first need to give it a center point. And the point tool is right up here. I'm going to click on the point tool and tell the computer where I want the center of this hole to be. And in this case, I want it to be right here. I'm going to finish my sketch. And I always like to go to some sort of isometric view before I give my um, the part's depth. And then right up here, we have the hole tool. So I'm going to select hole. And it will allow me to make a you know, regular drilled hole, a counterboard hole, a spot face hole, as well as a countersink hole. In this case, we're going to be making a counterboard hole. Now, I like to tell my students that up here, this looks pretty complicated. There's a lot of different dimensions involved in this. We can simplify it by doing this step right away. Under termination, we want to tell it how far the hole is going to go through the part. And in this case, we want the hole to go all the way through. So we'll select through all from the drop down menu. And doing that takes away, um, you know, it, it takes away only one of the dimensions, but all of a sudden this area looks much more simplified. Then we just go ahead and add in the dimensions to, to this. And in this case, we want the top radius to be 18 millimeters, the top diameter, I should say. We want it to be a depth of 10 millimeters. This is a metric file that we're working with. And then the bottom radius, diameter, once again, is going to be 13 millimeters. When we're done, we, we, can, we can decide if we want it to be a tapped hole, um, or in this case, we just want it to be a simple hole. I'm going to click OK. Right before that, though, I'll look at my preview, noting that everything does look good there. I'm going to click OK. And then sure enough, the, um, the hole goes through perfectly. Um, notice in the back it looks just like a simple drilled hole, but on top we do have enough room for, um, well this is exactly what we're looking for for this particular part. Um, once again, um, from the top view it's going to be looking like, like this, and, and that's kind of exactly what we got here. Um, once again, this was how to drill a counterboard hole.